Hey, that my chin, that my chin, that that my first day of only the finest. That my first day, oh yeah, hey, hey, that my first day, oh yeah, hey, 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 that my first day, oh yeah, hey, hey, that my first day, oh. Konnichiwa. Asking for blessings and celebrating the coming of spring. 
In olden times, each person became a year old or a New Year's Day, rather than on their birthday. And we Japanese literally sweep the old year away with very thorough house cleaning and freshening up of interiors before we can welcome the New Year. And a special Nengajo, or New Year greeting cards, are dropped at the post office weeks in advance, where they're kept until being delivered to each household in an entire country all at once on New Year's Day. Another thing always done in advance is the preparation of tasty osechi yori. This guess is to be served cold over the first days of the new year, giving women of the household a rare break from cooking. And nearly everyone should be free from stress, work or study, allowing time to be with family, carry out centuries old rituals and traditions together. So the new year's always has been, and still is today, the most important holiday in Japan. Now, let's imagine for a moment that you are Japanese on New Year's Eve. So on New Year's Eve, you would stay up late and eat. Do you know what we eat on New Year's Eve in Japan? A ramen. Ramen? Oh, I love ramen noodles. Yes, we eat soba noodles on New Year's Eve. Uh, soba noodles is uh, buckwheat noodles, gray noodles, and on New Year's Eve because we hope that we can live long and healthy like long, long soba noodles. And then you would hear a huge bronze bell called Joya no Kare. So we sound gong around midnight, gong at Buddhist temples. Well, can anybody guess how many times the bell rings on New Year's Eve in Japan? Seven? Lucky seven, yes? 365. 365, yes. Any other number? Okay, well, good guess, thank you. Well, the answer is 108 times. In Japanese Buddhism, it is said that humans have 108 bonno, which means earthly desires. So, with this bonno defeated by the bell ringing, we Japanese believe that we can start the new year with clean slate, fresh, and with great hopes. Then, the next day, on January 1st, you rise early on Ganjitsu, the first day of the new year, you put on new clothes from head to toe and try to go see the first sunrise of the year called Katsuhirode. Before breakfast, you drink otoso, a sweet spiced wine to make you feel more spirit within you and prevent sickness within a mile of your home. Then you run to the mailbox to check for the beautiful Nengajo or New Year greeting cards from family and friends. Later in the day, call us to your home by coming for a meal of osechiyori and maybe more otoso. Then you go to the Shinto Shrine to pray for the blessing of the New Year. So, everyone in Japan gets into the spirit of Oshogatsu, enjoying the symbolism and beautiful customs of the New Year. Oshogatsu is a time for reflection for family and friends and of course, fun. It's a holiday much like Christmas. It is a full of goodwill, friendship, and renewal of hope and happiness. I've spoken too long. I have to get back to selling the Dharma dolls. Let's take a shot. Before I go, I would like to leave you with this New Year's wish. But first, in Japanese. Minasan, doza, yoyo toshi wo omukai kudasai. May your Dharma's eyes be painted in each and every year. And all your wishes come true. Happy New Year, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day here at Epcot. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou. Arigatou gozaimashita. And you're also welcome to take a picture with the Dharma dolls. How do you want to take a picture with the Dharma dolls? You like to do so? Please come right over here. Thank you.